Hello, my name is Mercury, and welcome to this brand new episode of Media Fay. Today, I am alone, and today I'll be discussing the ID at at Spot showcase that premiered uh, on April 29th. Yes. Um. So yeah, uh, this is the final episode I have to record for uh, before before I leave. It is currently 3 a.m. <laughs> so, uh, yeah. Doesn't, uh, th- doesn't that excite, uh, people? It, it is currently. That, that is, that, that is, that is awesome. I, it, it is currently 3, 3 a.m. Um What the fuck? No, um Oopsie Daisy. There we go. Ah uh, uh Yes, I guess. Sure. Why not? Fuck that. Sorry, I'm doing something with the episode. Okay, there we go. Anyways, uh, yeah, no, this is the... This is the last episode to record. I did record every episode you see after this one. I did record in advance today. Like, well, not today, today, but like... In, uh... It, it, during the 7th to 8th. Uh, including... Like, some of them. All, like, all of them, pretty much. I recorded in between this time period. So, yeah. It is currently 3 a.m. Uh, I don't, I, it'll, I don't know how long this episode will be, but it'll be pretty long. It, it'll be quite long, I think. So yeah, no, I, I feel like you should see more of the, the stuff that I that that's gonna be put out here. And uh, yeah, no, I I'm really excited. Uh, yeah, no, let's talk about let's talk about the idea that's about showcase. It was only presented through IGN. And that live stream was like three hours long, and I was like, "What the fuck?" But then I realized that when I actually watched it, that the that the main bulk of it, the actual showcase, was like forty minutes in between that, and then everyone dipped, and then we were just playing games after that. So we're only covering the the showcase itself. We're not covering the games they covered afterwards, where they played the games. We are only covering the fat the the games that they are that they showed in the showcase itself. So without further ado. Let's begin with talking about Astor Blade of the Monolith. Now, I feel like I talked about this before. Maybe on Media Consumers, I don't remember which one, but I did talk about this game. And it looks cool. I, I do like uh, what I'm looking here. It it reminds me a lot of the games we saw with Summer Game Fest. I'm recording this right, I'm recording this right after Summer Game Fest, by the way. Uh, with that one game, uh, Hyper Light Breaker. Yeah, it reminds me a lot of Hyper Light Breaker. Uh, Worth noting that ID Editspot Showcase premiered on April 29th. It has been over a month since, almost two months, since the release uh, or the premiere of this showcase. So I'm doing a little catching up. Very late catching up. Uh, but yeah, uh, I, I, I needed this episode to come out pretty much. So yeah, uh, but yeah, Astor looks cool. I like... Uh, what I'm looking at with, with uh, what I'm looking at with here with Astor. Let me just uh, you know, it it it, just, it looks cool. I like I like the 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 aesthetic. I like the feel of it. It reminds me a lot of like like Zelda, uh, you know, like fight like fighting, but I guess done in a 3D sense. So you know that that's cool. Anyways, yeah. After Blade the Monolith is available now. When this uh, when this streamed, it wasn't available then. But uh, but yeah, no, it's it, it is now. Next up is Thirty Three Immortals. I like the concept of this game. It's very fuck. It's very cool. I think the concept of this game is very cool. It uh it, it basically involves like a, a bunch of people, like you and a group a group of bunch of people, going to take down bosses. And, and you know that you only have 30 up to, up to 30 33 people but it becomes a lot easier uh, if you do it if you, if you do it uh with with a lot more people 
And you would think that a 33-person team would not be able to really work together, but it seems like, or like work at all in a game, but it seems like they managed to make it work, which is really commendable. I I like that fact that we can actually, that we, you know, see the fact that it's actually uh, possible, mainly because I think that the, 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 that the characters are small enough, so you know who's who, but you don't... Uh, you don't lose the you don't lose like you, you don't lose the boss in, in in that because the boss is gigantic it is a very big model so seeing that i feel like it's very cool and uh but the, the it's it's like a roguelike it's a roguelike multiplayer game and uh, i feel like the concept is pretty unique uh, in and of itself roguelikes have become a very uh Roguelikes have been a very, uh... Um... Uh, like, uh, they, they've been popping, they've been popping up quite a bit throughout the... Uh... Throughout the years. So yeah, I, I feel I feel like seeing that I've seen the, the concept cha- like, uh, like being expanded upon and experimented with, I think is very cool. But let's uh, let's move on from 33 Immortals to the a power world update. I'm pretty sure this is the same one from back in uh, from you know from the Summer Game Fest, but whatever. It is they they, they showed a new create a new a new pal here. And, uh, yeah, no, like, it's like, like I've said, I, what I said about Power World, I've said a million times. I feel like the concept of Power World is a very cool one, uh, with, like, a more, a more mature take on, on Pokemon and, and that mechanic. And I feel like Pokemon definitely deserves to have more competition in its, in its, and it's, like, in its genre, but, uh, Power World is not, is just not the answer. With their sort of, like, very reminiscent, like, their designs that are very, are very reminiscent of Pokemon. I just feel like that's a bit weird. Yeah. The Power World update is coming out in summer 2024, um, though I'm pretty sure that's the June update that's coming out very, very soon. Next up is Commando's Origins. Now, I don't remember much about this game, to be genuinely honest with you. Um, Commando's Origins. Uh, I mean, it. Oh, oh. Uh, it's, it's a top-down strategy game. Uh, I'm not the biggest fan of top-down strategy games. I've mentioned this before, and I've said it a million times. Uh, so I'm not really particularly excited for this, but I, I, I do see the appeal in these type of games. It's just not really for me. You know, so sadly, I'm not, I'm not one of those people that, uh, that really likes the this, this type of genre. It's just not for me. But yeah, if, if you do like it, uh, there's a closed beta coming in summer of this year. So, hey. If you really want to get into that, um, um, yeah, you, you, you go ahead and do that. Uh, so yeah, it, it, yeah, like I said, close beta, whatever. Uh, next up is Sen- Centum? Centum. I don't know if it's Centum or Centurn. I think it's Centurn. Century, no, it's 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 definitely Centum. It's Centum, okay. Uh this game looks very weird. <laughs> this game has a lot of stuff going on in it. It looks very weird. It reminds me a lot of like Um like I don't know, like the uh, like Death Stranding, that's a very weird comparison, but like, it reminds me a lot of like, the, the style of Death Stranding with a bunch of weird shit just there. It reminds me a lot of that. So I... I mean, I, it looks cool, I guess, but I, I'm not really... I'm not particularly like excited for it. I, I'm not... I'm not one for the... for like weird... uh... weird shit. Why are they sending me so... Why the fuck are they sending me? Like my friends like I have Travy and uh and it's Seed. 
They're sending me fucking things. They're still awake at 3 a.m. <laughs> I mean, I'm still awake at 3 a.m. Uh, fucking seeing these shit there, these things, but I, uh, I, I can't say much. <laughs> I can't, I can't be one like complaining. They're like, hey, uh, it's Seed and, uh, and, uh, Kravy, if you're watching this, uh, some, I don't think you are, but hey, I, you got a shout out here. Free shout out. Um, this is supposed to come out, um, this episode is supposed to be coming out. I would say, give me a second, uh, it's coming out on June 18th, so, hey, June 18th, if, 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 it, if it's not, if it's there, uh, not, it, take June 18th, I'll, I'll tell you that. <laughs> That, that that's when that's when you guys can expect this this, this, this for me to see it. So I'm I'm recording this on on June eighth. So ten days from now, you'll be you'll be seeing this episode. That's kind of weird to say that I'm actually recording episodes beforehand instead of uh, just kind of releasing them, uh, uh, you know, like weekly, like just the day after. But you know, tough times call for tough measures. I would say. So yeah, moving on, Sentum uh, is coming out in summer. Next up is Lost Record, Bloom and Rage. This game is very much like a... I would say... A, it's it's like a... It's like a fucking... Um, yeah, like a quirky style game about, about teenagers and all that shit. I, I'm not... Particularly excited for it. it reminds me a lot of life is it reminds me a lot of life is strange. That's probably an inspiration if I'm gonna guess. But I'm not I'm I'm not the biggest fan of life is strange and it's like and, and it's all of that shit is not not for me. So yeah, um, I'm not I'm not particularly excited for Lost Record Bloom and Rage. You could probably tell. So yeah, but it is coming late 2021 if you really wanted to know. Next up is Key Locker. Now this is a game I can get behind. Key Locker is like a, it has a lot of stuff going on, kind of like a fucking, I forgot his name, uh, Sentum. But it's like a cyberpunk style, uh, like 90s uh, cyberpunk style, a- anime cy- cyberpunk style specifically. It's very specific, but I do like that, like that specific, uh, I guess, genre of cyberpunk. And, uh, yeah, no, I, I should probably watch Ghost in the Shell, <laughs> but, uh, but anyways, I, I enjoyed a lot of, uh, I enjoyed, uh, I enjoyed watching this, it's like an RPG, and you get to see other stuff, like, you get to see, like, the world and shit, that, that, that's cool, I, I, I like what, I like what I'm seeing with Key Locker. I might pick it up if the, if the price is right, but I, I'm not sure. It's a very, uh, it's very weird to see really see like i don't know me like actually want a an indie game i don't know it, it's kind of weird and uh and that doesn't happen often but you know when it happens it doesn't happen that, that's all i gotta say uh but that's coming summer 2024 next up is stampede racing royale it just looks like your normal kart game it's not really anything special to be honest and it's kind of like i guess it's a little insulting the indie games are usually very I would say they're very. Ah, uh, can you guys tell it's three? I'm I'm fucking tired. <laughs> I should probably be doing something better with my time than just doing this, but whatever, right? <laughs> but it's very basic. It's just kind of like a normal racing game. I don't know if I think that's something like a card game. I don't know if that's something I really want in my life or something like this is kind of like weird to see. So, I don't know, you guys decide. Do you guys like Tappy Racing Royale or not? I'm not sure. I'm not sure what to think, but uh, if you guys like it, I feel like I, there's stuff here to like. But it's just kind of like a normal cartoon cart game. It's not that deep. So yeah, Tappy Racing Royale is coming out in summer 2024. Next up is Jackbox Naughty Pack. They didn't show anything about this pack, but it's a very weird thing to put here. Um. Yeah, no, I, I, it's very weird. Like, just, just but I yeah, we're, we're doing and we're, we're basically doing uh, cards against humanity with Jackbox. Weird shit. Weird shit. Just, just, just saying it. Weird shit. Yeah. 
they didn't show anything so i'm not gonna really talk about it so anyways the jackbox naughty pack is coming out in 2024 next up is time and galaxy this is a very uh, uh, i guess like a, a cutesy art style to it uh Uh, I, I like how it looks. There's a lot of like different species and that looks very cool and I and, you know I, I enjoy that. I've always enjoyed seeing different species in in, in in like games like this. So I I, I like it. I like times it's, it's also not time and galaxy. It's times and galaxy. Whoopsie. Um you know I feel like it looks cool. It looks cool. I like I like the ideas of all the different characters. Uh, I'm not, uh, like, it, like, it also has a lot of, like, mini games and shit, that, that, and that's kind of cool. Yeah, I feel like, it, I, think, I feel like this game has a lot of potential, so, there's that, at least. Anyways, uh, time and, give me a second, I'm gonna sneeze. Thank you. Uh, I don't know why I said thank you. Did, did I just expect people to say bless you? What the fuck? And his testing galaxy is coming out in June 2024. Next up is Sulfur. Now Sulfur is kind of like a like a boomer shooter that uh that that's like much more a stylistic choice. It's like it was a stylistic art style. That's very weird. It's it's more of an art style than like pixelated. And I think it looks I think it looks great. It's a very it's a very nice way to to really subvert the. Uh, the the making of uh, of of these game uh, of these games, it's a very cool way to subvert that, and we so we so it doesn't look, uh, you know, I guess like it, it, it doesn't like look just like boomer shooters. Boomer shooters have one style, and that's either Doom or Doom. <laughs> so. Yeah, um, I feel like so far is a very cool. It looks very cool. I, I, I like the, I, I like the, I like how everything looks in this game. You know, just honestly, like, I, I love how the game looks. So, might pick it up if it, well, I mean, might pick it up when it comes out if it does come out because there's no release date for it. So yeah. Next up is Farah the Sunder Tribes. Um, th this game, I feel like it needs, this game needs uh something like it needs work. Definitely, it shouldn't come out this year. Does this game need to work? I feel like they have a good foundation for this game with all like the flying and all that, like very, very, very reliant on flying. I feel like they have something. They have something there, but they just don't like. They they, they need to work on it. It, it looks there's, there's a few animations that look a bit rough. There's a uh, like the world I think could use some fleshing out. I feel like some things here with Pharaohs and the Tribes can be worked on to make it a great game. That it could be. So yeah, I just feel like that's my two two cents. What the fuck was that? Is that a fly? Yeah, that's just my two cents here. I feel like Pharaoh could be a, a good game. Anyways, Pharaoh the Thunder Tribes is coming out in 2024. Next up is All You Need Is Help. And I sure do after watching this goddamn trailer. Yeah, it's such a weird trailer. It's such a weird ass trailer. It looks weird. It feels weird. I just, I kind of don't want to watch it. <laughs> it just it, it just feels weird and um in like the worst place possible. And it it, it feels like a game that you would like spend your family like uh, like to, to argue over, kind of like Mario Party. And uh, yeah, no, I, I feel like that is um. That's definitely how I feel about this game. It looks weird. It's it's just it's just weird, <laughs> and uh, but it's like a puzzle game, and that's not like and that's fine. But it feels like a weird aesthetic, which I think I like. <laughs> I think I like the weird aesthetic on this game. So yeah, uh, that's uh, all you need is help. It's coming out in 2024. Next up is Tales of Iron 2: Whiskers of Winter. Uh, looks fine, I guess. It's like it's like it's again as a, a very Distinct art style with like, you know, it, it looks like a, it looks like actual 2D, like, like drawn stuff. Uh, and, has, and the combat is like that. And it, it looks, it, that looks like, a, that looks like a cool art style. But then again, like, I don't know, I don't know if I really like, like that. 
I, I mean, I do like it. I, I do like it, but I'm not sure if I like this game enough because of the art style. It's just a, it's just a platform, not a platform, but it's like a 2D action game, and I don't really play a lot of those. So yeah, I mean, it looks fine, I guess, but I don't, I don't play a lot of the, these type of games. So yeah, Tales of Iron 2: Whiskers of Winter has no release date as of currently. Our next stop is Hangry. Hangry, uh, the looks interesting there's not a lot of gameplay to really go off of but it has like a 1950s cyberpunk feel which is the same thing that like uh fucking follow has so very distinct very 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 weird very cool very off-putting i feel like the the world of this game could go places they, they did show a little gameplay at the end and it looks cool but it's like a like an alien hunter game you know like i mean it look, looks fine it looks it's fine. I don't know if I, it's, it's enough for me to buy it, you know? Uh, Hangry has no release date as of, as of right now. Promise Mascot Agency is next. And I feel like this is a cool way... Uh, this is a cool little uh, project that they have here. Uh, so it's like just like a Yakuza member trying to get back to like trying to do something else. And uh, uh, they decide. Well, well, he decides. I'm not just gonna say it. What they get in the trailer? He decides. It's too a little over the top, but that's kind of what the game is going for. I feel so. I uh, I applaud the developers here for making something that actually kind of looks cool and I actually kind of like. I, I like the the direction the game is going. So. Yeah, hey, I, don't, I don't mind it. I really don't mind it. So yeah, that's uh, that's Promise Mascot Agency. It's coming out in 2025. The only game here that actually comes out. And it was next up. Now that Turtle Gamera. Uh, anyways, these games, these games are Cle Clepper, Another World, uh, Volcano Princess, Fireworks, and the. Per Personalization. Their hand that uh at, at showing off their games, especially something like this with Xbox and Xbox Game Pass having such a you know big uh big part of people free games all around you know for affordable price. So yeah, I I, I like I like that. It yeah. look cool and they. Deserve that time of spot folly and hey, maybe somebody picks them up because of this. Because they have Game Pass. I don't know. So Gamma Games also revealed an another game, uh called, a new game called The Rewinder. It lines up with their art style of having like a like pixelated almost like I guess paint-esque, paint painting-esque uh pixelated art styles. That's very cool. But again, I don't know what the game is about and the, and the game doesn't really tell you what the game is about, so there's that. Anyways, the rewinder is available now, which is kind of weird to see that. I, that 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 those are my vocal cords, I think. Like we just like weird noises my vocal cords are making. That's weird. That's actually kind of weird. Anyways, uh, next up is some triple I games from the triple I triple I or triple the triple indie showcase or the fuck triple I showcase game showcase. They are going up way behind. No, wait, I'm not, I'm not way behind. I'm like right here. That's actually way behind. That released April 26th. So, oh wait, April 25th, sorry. April, April 25th. I think, yeah, April 25th. So... I, uh... I, I think that was a while ago, and the uh, and the
the triple R is against our kill knight, risking two. My time at Sandrock, Rapper Survivors, Flip Long Procedure, Portals, Never Alone 2, Street of Rogue 2, Death Must Die, Broken Roads, Dyson Spears Program, The Rise of the Dark Fox, Stage 2, Raven's Watch, Cat Quest 3, Broto Abyssal Tech. Abyssal Terror and Wizard Legend 2. So we're looking, for, uh, looking forward to any of those games and uh, you can find them on Game Pass soon. Anyways, to our last two, to our last two announcements, Dungeons of Hinterburg. It reminds me a lot of Zelda and that in those dungeons, but it's a it's a full-on Zelda dungeon game, and that's very cool. Except for like you know the the, the enemies and stuff, but it, it reminds me a lot of the Breath of the Wild dungeon. It's with all like the the, the cryonis blocks and such, and, and here they have blocks that are similar. But they made a slime that's kind of cool, like it dissolves in water. There's different mechanics here that they can really that they, that they can really play with. I feel like a game with uh, with people, and you know, like it, it looks it looks it looks fun. Like, Like this game here, it's coming out July 18th, 2024, and you can pre-order it now. Next up, our final announcement are some uh, Vampire Survivors updates. So, the Laboratory Update is available now, and Operation Guns is available now. Um, the Laboratory Update looks fine, it looks cool, I guess, like it has a lot of new stuff, a lot of sci-fi stuff. And Operation Guns is a Contra crossover, which... Fucking hell, how? Contra, really? Out of all the games you could have picked, you picked Contra. Whatever. Um, I mean, you do you, I guess, uh, developers. If you want to have a, you, you get that, con that that Contra crossover, right? Man, I, I feel like they, they look cool, and uh, the, the the characters from Contra, actually, the characters from Contra actually kind of fit well with the with with the aesthetic and the gear and the graphics and the. Uh, look, what do you guys think about the idea that's about showcase? Leave it in the comments below. You can follow us on our socials, they're all on our channel page. Um, for, Mercury, for me, Mercury, it's at MercurySC on YouTube, Wattpad, AO3, fanfiction.net, at MercuryGuestCheese on Twitter, and MercuryCCheese on Twitch. So, yeah, that's about it. See ya.